Coming to you live from Slayman Main Stadium in Tara Bay, home of the Mutineers. The stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is really feeling it. Grim, pirates don't feel much unless the feelings include the rust they get from gunning a man from head to toe and spill his guts out onto the dock. You ain't got that right, partner. Let's play some football. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Hot. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, damn it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> Third down and five. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but... I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it doesn't know. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Yeah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. First and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. First and ten. 
That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> from here on out. My grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot two. Hot. Oh, that one grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the one's got to the bathroom, Grim. Or did it just grab that you think? No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. One. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to hit more. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, a play 
there on Roy Rage, but win. He could go all the way. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. And this game is up for grabs. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. He refuses to go down. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. First and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The defense calls that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. <laughs> Second down and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. I hope you covered your record. That passes for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me 
every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Ah, another interception. They should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. One. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and seven. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Third down and three. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. See a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and eight to go. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. But it turned out to light it wasn't. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. I got too much buried in. You know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon heads. Kidding she? I'm at it anything really tastes. Two minutes remain in the half. Great. I gotta take a dump. Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah! The nachos, man. Want some? Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, wait, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. Down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. 
The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second and three. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. Third down and the punter is warming up. Wake you up, then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice cap, and he turns up. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. One, two. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot, one, hot, two. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, with the punishing hit. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Touchdown on that deflection. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he picks up about six on the play. <laughs> and that'll be their final timeout. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tease show. Where we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. You want to take some fun of your time? And it's first and ten. Hot, one. Scrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a console was at home. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep to. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Third down and eight. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. Uh, I'll take a Roid Rage with a pocket chaser to make it snap your way, shorty. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Man, this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and five. Just some good old downhill running there as he 
picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third down and nine. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. friends was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The play dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Wow. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And there aren't many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big gain. Except pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Uh, oh, and pickles. Oh, and pickles. That ball was almost intercepted. <laughs> And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is gonna have more. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and 10. Hot, hot one. Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and two. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And 
and that'll be second down and four. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And here comes the extra point attempt. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey at an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Passed off by 18-year-old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. And it's first and ten. all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. Caught for the first down. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the... And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall down. In your face, stupid. <laughs> Well, why 
go for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. No, oh, I'm talking about points. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Yeah, never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. No, didn't. You know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. and stumbling he could go all the way i like this they're going for two Point attempt. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, on, at least the mortician man. did. You He's coming out in the field real. now. I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Third down and nine. First and ten. Talking about butterfingers, he should have had that one. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. for a first down. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. First and eight to go. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second and eight to go. Hot. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Third down and eight. Oh, <laughs> 
third. Either way, they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little pile? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten when the defense calls thunderclap the offense is toast oh did he ever get zapped reminds me you ever hear that zapper song watch out where the huskies go don't you eat that yellow snow when i was a kid i always ate the yellow snow they were like lemon snow cones Fudge ice cream sandwiches? Nah, they didn't taste so good. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, with the brutal hit. Lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. They save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. First and eight to go. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, nobody can cut you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out and take me. More points, so they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. And what a story. Like, what, a, what a wonderful story. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called that rabbit sense. I took it as a compliment. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> the Turbay Mutineers pillage the opposition and win today's game. It was a brutal battle attrition but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field yeah they're giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt their cause either well it hurt mine cause i had a saw buck on this fucking game the game's most valuable player is about to speak <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off.
Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.